Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Prateek Singh and this is chapter 2 of my Azure Cloud Shell series. In this video, we will be looking into how storage in Azure Cloud Shell works. First thing first, let me take you to my Azure portal and launch Azure Cloud Shell. I'll maximize this window so that you can see it properly. The moment you click on this Cloud Shell button, it will hook up with one in hundreds of geo dispersed containers and find one nearest to you. These containers are just sitting there and waiting for you to start your cloud shell. These containers utilize file share, which is created by default when you launch the cloud shell for the first time to persist your files. And once the file share is mounted, it will act as any other file system. Let me just show you. Right now, I am in my Azure Drive. So I'll do a dir on my home drive backslash. Cloud Drive. And when I hit enter, you will see by default I can see a file share here, which has two folders inside it. The first one, the Cloud Console one, is for the bash files. So if I choose from the drop down bash here, this file share folder would be utilized for the files which would be used during the execution of that Cloud Shell. But since I'm using PowerShell, it uses PS Cloud Shell folder. If I actually go go to my storage account, which is mounted to this Azure Cloud Shell, and go to File section, you will see the exact folders which we just saw in the PowerShell console. If I click on this PS Cloud Shell folder, it will take me inside that folder. And you will see some directories which is exactly like you have PowerShell directories on your local machine. So if I go into this Windows folder, you will see a modules folder there, which contains all the modules which you have installed in your Azure Cloud Shell. So the whole purpose of this file share is to persist your files, no matter you stop your current session or you start a new one. You can also see your cloud drive using the commanded get cloud drive, which will give you a little bit more detailed description about your cloud drive. For example, the mount point and the resource group inside which this file share has been created. You can also upload files in your cloud drive. So in the top left corner, I'll click on this upload button, which opens a pop-up menu and I'll click this folder icon here. And now it has opened a dialog box wherein I can choose some files. So I'll click on this local Azure drive file, which is present on my local machine. I'll click on upload. Once the file has been uploaded, if I hit refresh here and scroll down, you will see this file has been uploaded to my cloud drive. If you want, you can also access this file from your console as well. There would be some scenarios wherein you may want to dismount your current storage and mount in another one. So to dismount a storage from your Azure cloud shell, you have to just type in the command dismount cloud drive. I'll use force parameter and hit enter. This will automatically dismount your drive and your session will time out. Let's suppose I want to mount another drive, which is not my default cloud shell drive. In order to achieve that, first of all, I have to create a storage account and I'll have to make sure it has a file storage attached to it. So if I click quit here, and launch my cloud shell again and choose PowerShell. But instead of creating a storage or using my default storage, I'll click on show advanced settings. Now in the resource group section, I'll use the cloud shell storage resource group, which is exactly the same resource group in which my new cloud storage is placed. I'll use existing storage account. This one is my default account. So I'll change it to new storage account. And once you are there, I'll just provide the name of my file share and click create storage. And now this will mount a new storage account to your Azure cloud shell. So that's all from my end today. In the next chapter, we would be discussing about how I can use Azure cloud shell from my visual studio code editor. If you like my videos and think they are cool, don't forget to like them and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is a motivation for me to create more such videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.